What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Around the Track. This is where we talk about all the hot new things going on within the coast community. Today I'm bringing you all another roller coaster construction update for Kings Dominion's 2025 roller coaster. And yes, I know I just released one literally at like six in the morning and I'm actually recording this one June 19th, 2024 at literally like seven or it's actually 6 30 in the morning right now but just like i did last video i'm just gonna go ahead and let you all watch this video from outside the park first then after that video i will let you all know what's going on inside the park okay guys so one piece is missing now they got rid of uh one piece is actually going to be inside the park so they got rid of one piece uh it should be a flatter piece i don't know exactly where it was originally at but as you can see they got rid of one and um, yeah, I can't remember. It's a flat piece though. I know they got rid of one of them. Yeah, they do have one. Uh, I think it's actually two extra pieces over here. Unless I'm mistaken, these might be for the break run. They, these might've been the first pieces actually, but yeah, so they got rid of, oh, there's actually another support over there. Y'all see that? Hold on. Let me zoom in really quick. Go times three. There's another support over there. Uh, those are some newer ones. They have an angle to it. So that's like my first time seeing one of those ones. But um, yeah, that's what it looks like. So they also got another crane too. They got a yellow crane now. And I'm pretty sure that's what they use to get the track. So that's nice to see the progress. Uh, again, these are the other pieces of track that were over here. Uh, those are two curved pieces. I think that's also new. I don't remember those being there. Yeah, that's actually new. Those are the first large pieces of uh, curved track now. So that's nice to see they've got some more track. And I'm going to go ahead and head inside the park after this. All right, I want to get this video. I said, let me go ahead and come a little bit closer this time and just check it out. Uh, it looks really dope, though. Those are the larger pieces of the track. Uh, they were not there yesterday, from my knowledge. So, yeah, it looks really cool, though. There's another piece over here. I'm going to probably go to the other side, maybe around the evening when I head out of here so I can maybe get a closer picture from the other side of the fence. But I don't want to go that far. I don't want to be disrespectful. So we're just going to keep it right here. Looks really good though. The pieces are huge. That is definitely not no family dive coaster. So yeah. Looks really cool though. We got a bus coming over here. Two buses actually. They're about to head out. Alright y'all. So that's the other bit of track over here. Got a car coming but yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. Um, but yeah, those are some pretty big pieces of track. There's a car right there. Um, but those are some pretty big pieces of track. They're pretty huge. Check that out, man. The curvature looks really cool. And then over here are the supports. Like I said, the supports really do kind of change colors uh, from time to time. Just because once it gets dark, it does look different. Sometimes when it's in the light, it looks a little bit different. But yeah, this is what the other side of it looks like. I want to get a little image or video from this angle just because it's a little bit better angle. So yeah. Alrighty, so you all saw what's going on outside the park. Now you can see what's going on inside the park and a lot has been done. Literally just in two days, they've already added even more theming and they actually carved these pieces in as you're seeing here. Uh, they look like claw marks from a bird. I thought they were from a tiger of some sort, but they do more, look more like a bird. Uh, it's just the way it's angled. They look more like a bird. They actually literally carved those in. They, I went to feel them and they do feel, um, you can tell it's carved in. It actually is pretty awesome that they did that. I don't know how they did it so fast, but they did it pretty quickly. As we look over the fence here, uh, this is more of a zoomed out image, so you can't really see the track all the way, but it is further back there right by Flight of Fear. I think that piece is honestly a test piece. Obviously it goes there, but I'm saying this is like a test piece for them to see if the track is aligned and everything, as well as if the footers are leveled and whatnot correctly. So that area is by Flight of Fear. That piece does look like it's something for the transfer track. I did zoom in in a later clip. Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. I knew they were going to be doing it soon, but I just didn't know it was going to be like two days later. Like that was very fast. This is definitely giving a feeling that the announcement is going to more than likely happen in August, but I would not be surprised if they honestly closed part of this area of the park mainly so they can actually work on Intimidator, uh, the repaint for that, as well as just retheming that entire area. Like I said, they want that area to be themed like completely. I was at Outpost Cafe getting my dinner right before I was gonna head out the park. And I remember overhearing someone say, man, they really have this place like Disney in this area. 
And I was like, yep, that's essentially what they're going for. And the merge is also supposed to be happening July 1st. So right before the 4th of July, they're going to have that Six Flags and Cedar Fair merge. So it is going to be very intriguing to see what is going to happen in 2025 and 2026. I also remember hearing a documentary talking about this, but Kings Dominion actually should have been called Kings Island and Kings Island really should have been Kings Dominion. Because when you look at it, Kings Dominion really has areas that are almost like little islands if you really think about it. You have Candy Apple Grove is another themed area, Old Virginia, then you have Jungle Expedition or Safari Village back then. They had a lot of equipment out today. Um, they weren't really, I did hear them working a little bit, but they were finishing up for that day. Like I said, they finished around that five, between that 4.30, 5.30 hour. And I think it was about like six o'clock. So they were just finishing up. They weren't even working over by that area. That area is actually where that big hole was at. And I went to refilm that area because that hole, like I said, was massive. And I felt like I didn't get a full image of it. This time I definitely got a good image of it. Uh, they did have a ladder over there as well as, like I said, it is closed off. And then they have the high voltage area also closed off. I do think that is going to be a pathway like I was talking about. And like I said, they had some pretty big equipment over in that area. So they definitely are working on something. I don't know what though. Now, again, I went over to the area by flight of fear, realized that I was actually zoomed out and I meant to be zoomed in like times three. I zoomed in, now you can see a little bit better. They had the uh, back hoe, front hoe vehicle out there. Like I said, they weren't really working. They were pretty much done for the day. Like I said, they had more rebar and lane clearing. Like I said, it's pretty flat now. They've gotten pretty much that entire area flat. I did end up riding reptilian because I was looking for the piece of track because I literally couldn't see it. Uh, my video earlier and I was like where is the track at and then I went up on reptilian I was like oh it's all the way by flight of fear so it's like really in the cut in the corner so you're not going to see it in this image I went back over by that Arakadia ride and turns out they ended up working some more over in this area as well they've been working on this area for a hot minute now so they're definitely trying to get this done there's a footer in that box right there and I forgot what that thing is called but essentially it keeps them, it keeps the workers protected when they're in like a trench area. So nothing collapses in. And then I zoomed in just a little bit, just to get a little bit clearer image. It goes from pretty much flight of fear to reptilian. And, um, they're just working on each area individually. So there's just so much going on. I'm really happy to see that they got the first piece of track in and there are three footers right there. Um, I just did a like slow pan just so you all can kind of see what's going on here is where i finally realized oh it's over here in this location that was after i wrote reptilian like i said i got a zoomed in image and as you can see there's some footers uh spaced out a little bit but they do have that first piece installed they had a lot of equipment and just vehicles out there today uh they were like i said done for the day but that tells me that they were working pretty hard because they got a lot of land cleared. I do think this track might be for a transfer piece. It's just very far and like in the cut and they're probably going to make a building over this. They may not, they may keep it open, but usually they protect the uh, track when it's just sitting there like that in like a shed. So I could definitely see that being a transfer track area. I haven't looked at the blueprint in a while and I probably should take a look back at it just to see but I definitely think that looks like it's going to be either for the transfer track or the brake run. So yeah, that's going to conclude the update for today. I don't know what's going to happen later today because like I said, it's six in the morning right now. And uh, I imagine they're going to be having some more track. I don't know if I'll be able to get down there, unfortunately, because I will have to uh, work because I have a real job. So until YouTube takes off, I got to still work and pay these bills. But thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And until next time, peace out.